engaged, get the top toe in, shoulders drawn back, turn the shoulder out, twist the hand, start, gently lean forward, come down to the knee, make sure your spine is nice and straight, weight through the heel, if you can come all the way down, come all the way down without rounding your spine, but if you can't, just don't go that low yet. Inside and outside, straight up, straight down. Control the straight line down your spine. So we get a slight twist through the hip by adjusting the angle of the kettlebell. I tuck this arm into my chest to take it out completely. You can place it on your hip if you want to to increase stability or at the side for balance. Just make sure you're not shifting your hips side to side. The whole point is the hips stay level. Aim, so each side is one. Start off with 10 and build up to 20. Right, ready? Progression. Bend the not loaded legs. We've switched sides, this is our loaded leg now. This one is balancing, but not loaded. Try not to let that hip shift. So it's much harder when you're just using balance. If you've got hypermobility, and I've set you this for that because of hypermobile hips, keep a slight bend on the knee. It will reduce how much you feel in the hamstring, but it will protect your knee. Make sure you're not buckling your knee. You should feel even weight between middle toe, big toe, and even. is to take the leg out completely. So, you're even more unstable now. And of course, I'm doing it on my unstable leg. Balance out. Can you see how my hips are shifting now? Yeah, so I'm not ready for this yet, because I can do it, but can you see how much my hips are swaying? Now, that isn't a huge problem, as long as you're not in a painful phase. If you're in a painful phase where your hips are hurting if you push them too hard, then just don't do this yet. So you see on my more stable hip, I'm still not good at this yet. But I can control this, yes? So the twist comes from the body, not from the hips. Good.